Hello everyone! I'm back with our usual Hogwarts mystery content. This video kind of a general one. I'm pretty sure that we all have done at least some of the things that will be listed here. Uh, maybe you just started, so you may just be in this wonderful position where you get to avoid every single mistake. Uh, but you probably make new ones because the game keeps changing, so your gameplay and your style needs to kind of adapt and change as well. There are things that I probably would have suggested not too long ago to avoid, but now with new features, those things actually should be done <laughs> instead of avoided. So let's go down the list. There are nine <laughs> mistakes that I've come up with. I know 10 would have been a much better number, but we're rolling with nine. So first one has always been a thing. So it's buying everything in the shop early. First of all, the clothes are not even that good. So why spend that all your coins? And early on, you don't even get that many coins. So just don't spend them. The daily planner and the full marks will put you in position of having to spend coins and buy something in that shop anyways. So just wait for a cool outfit in, a, in an event, grind a bit for that one, but just don't, don't shop, don't spend your coins in the shop. Next up, we've got collecting energy from tappies in the wrong order. Might seem like a silly one, but we've all done it. We've all been there, where we start with the dorm room and then go around the castle. And furthermore, when you go around the castle, start with the clubs. There's also the accidental collecting energy from, daily, uh, from the daily planner. The energy that you get from completing the daily planner will stack, whereas the four energies that you get from finishing a task from daily planner does not. So once again, if you have full energy and you just click on that four energy, collect, it won't stack and it just will go to waste. So don't do that. Continuing on the energy train, buying energy using gems. Then, ooh, this one's a good one. Rushing through the dueling side quests. There's two, when you start off, you get one that requires to win 25 duels and there's one that requires you to do 50. It's grueling, it's long, it's so painfully annoying. And sadly, whenever there's a dueling event, those duels do not count towards the side quests. Let it sit there for two years if that's what it takes, but don't don't spend your coins, don't, don't rush through it. I will say that as you move on uh, along the years, the dueling does get more expensive. So I would rather suggest that you stick around a, a bit longer in the early years and grind and let the dueling kind of happen simultaneously, uh, then kind of rush through the years. That's another thing, don't rush through the story. A bonus, oh, that's the number 10. <laughs> that will be the bonus number 10 mistake. Don't rush through the story. But yeah, just, but don't rush through the quid, uh, through this dueling either, just don't. Then, ooh, actually, I almost said Quidditch, but that's actually another one. It's the same, same thing. Uh, the Quidditch friendlies, they're there, sure, you get one energy, cool, you get a perfect match, you get an added uh, gem, sure, you get some dragon XP, cool, but you also spend a lot of coins. And once again, is it really worth it? No. Do it when it's required, and do it when there's an added bonus to doing these things, not just randomly. I almost added uh, leveling up friendships on this list as well, but since nowadays you get chocolate frog cards from doing the from leveling up friendships, that one's actually a bit more reasonable to do. Now we've got accidentally triggering a time limited side quest. Now this is a bit tricky because they keep adding time limited side quests with different trigger points, so it's hard to keep track. But in general, like, there's a video that I've made on this channel with. Well, at this point I have to say most time-limited side quests because they already have added more since I made that video. But it does have all the trigger points. Now, kind of added... This one, probably not many will do because I don't think too many players actually will spend 350 gems for this thing. But if you do, buy the unlimited energy toffee that gives you unlimited energy for an hour. So there is some sort of a limit. 
make sure you have the time skipping toffees. Now, kind of a bonus one, uh, starting full marks on day one. Yes, they've made not one but two videos on how to beat full marks and neither one included logging in at the last minute, but it is a legit option and frankly, it's the wisest way to go about this event. And finally, finishing clean sweep before the third event starts. Um, because whilst there is that option, presumably a clean sweep, that once you finish the event, you can continue as long as you have enough tickets it doesn't really work. And that is it. We started off with nine, we ended up having sort of a bonus number 10 mistake as well. If you have any more, write that in the comments. Uh, if you've made any of these, we've all been there, don't feel bad. Uh, and hopefully we can learn from this and improve our gameplay as usual. So thank you for watching and I will see you next Friday. Fingers crossed, nothing changes. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.